Tonight, a rabid bat found in a home in Howell comes with a warning from the Livingston County Health Department. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Andrews. Ann Emmerich is off tonight. According to the Health Department, this is the first case of rabies in an animal in Livingston County this year. News 10's tonight, Jordan is in the newsroom with advice from a bat removal expert on what to do if you find a bat in your home. Tonight, David, according to the Livingston County Health Department, bats are the most common way that people in Michigan come in contact with rabies. Unfortunately, experts say it's hard to tell if a bat has the disease. The health department told me about 5% of the bats they've submitted for testing tested positive. According to wildlife biologist John DePew at the Michigan Department of Natural Resources, there's a lot of myths about bats. For example, if a bat is active during the day or it's found in a place where bats are not usually seen, like in your home, the bat is probably rabbit. Bats will fly around during the day at times, um, and often this time of year you'll find bats flying around more because there's juveniles are starting to fly around on their own now, and they just are still learning their way around the world. After a bat was found in a home in Howell, the Livingston County Health Department says if you find a bat in your home or you're bitten or scratched by a bat, don't let the bat go. DePew says that's because there's no way to tell if a bat has rabies. He recommends calling your local health department because you want to have the bat tested to see if it does have rabies. The Pew says sealing up your home helps keeps bats out. If you have uh, cracks, uh, you know, in your roof lines, um, often where chimneys come out of the roof line, those form cracks and the bats can come in there. Um, we, you know, in general, if the bats are not coming in direct contact with humans, they're extremely beneficial. The Livingston County Health Department says that bat teeth are so small, it's often hard to tell if someone was bitten. If you've come in contact with a bat, you should contact your doctor or the local health department. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tanaya Jordan, News 10. All right, Tanaya, thank you. The Livingston County Health Department has some additional advice to stay safe. This includes repairing possible entry points for bats. Remember, bats can enter spaces as small as a dime. Typical entry points include chimneys, air intakes, and exhaust vents, and spaces where exterior siding has shrunk or loosened. See